So today we are going to make healthy breakfasts that do not require wheat. And then we're also going to meal prep them a bit so that I have a bit to tide us over throughout the week. So instead of having to bake every morning, so we'll do that. And we're also preparing a nice relaxing brunch for the family because once in a while it's nice to just have a nice sumptuous breakfast because, you know. So welcome and let me show you what we're going to make today. So what we're going to meal prep is granola. Okay, it has been a minute. And I love granola so much and you can keep it and you can have it for weeks on end, all right? Then we're going to also meal prep some sweet potato and arrowroot fries. Some we'll have today, some we'll keep for the next week. Then we're going to have some hash brown potatoes with bacon and sausage. Yes, I know I said I'm going healthy, but you know, just cut a girl some break, okay? <laughs> and then we boil some eggs to keep in the fridge for having uh, during the week. And on and on it goes. So now I want to start with the granola. It is so easy. I've done a video about it, very detailed, and I will link it here. Yes, here. Yes. So that's what I want to start with. I'm so happy you're here. I'm already hungry, my friend. Let's start this thing. You guys, making granola is the easiest thing in the world. Um, I'm using eight cups of rolled oats, three cups of raw nuts and or seeds. My nuts are not raw because i've already roasted the peanuts so you're just peeling them and because of this i'm going to put them in later some salt cinnamon uh one cup of melted coconut or olive oil uh and one cup of honey some vanilla extract one cup of dried fruits and one cup of chocolate chips i mean just mix everything up um the dried fruit of course and the chocolate chips will come in later plus the nuts because the nuts are already roasted your oven is preheating at 180 degrees line your baking sheet with parchment paper mix everything basically the oats the nuts if they're raw the seeds the cinnamon i have this amazing uh seeds mix which has flax seeds pumpkin seeds uh a lot of other seeds i don't remember right now and then we are going to pour the honey and the vanilla and the honey oil and vanilla into a saucepan and over medium flame and mix it up when it warms up thoroughly pour it into the mixture and mix well until each nut and nut is each oat and nut is lightly coated then the granola will pour onto a baking sheet spread evenly and bake until lightly golden simple easy for about maybe uh, 25 minutes turning it once you know and you will be good to go time kids still have to eat <laughs> so i made i poured them some uh peanuts because i mean they're hungry it's brunch so it's gonna take a while to be ready but the peanuts will keep them going Now you don't have to peel your peanuts. I prefer to peel mine when we are making this kind of recipe or the banana bread which you made the other day. Otherwise, when we eat them, when we're eating them, we eat them unpeeled.
hey, my dustbin is still shining. I mean, if you watched the previous video where we washed the dustbin, then you know what I mean. The granola looks like it's two different colors but that's because i put it in two layers in the in the oven so what i do is after i remove the first time and flip it over then i put it back the opposite way the one that that was at the bottom goes on top and vice versa Hey, someone asked me in the previous video why I always uh, wear shoes inside the house. I'm guessing this must be a new person on the channel. Welcome. We follow the Fly Lady system. I did a whole 21 baby steps to the Fly Lady system in January and I'll link it here. And Fly, Fly Lady says that we should wear shoes in the house. It will make sense when you watch the playlist, honestly. Just check it out. Now, looking at the muddiness of these sweet potatoes and arrow roots makes you want to scream. I know, me too. But for me, it's also a sign that they're fresh from the market, which is, I mean, it's fresh from the garden. Uh, the mud is still quite raw. So, yeah, of course, we have to make time to clean them thoroughly. Again, in the last breakfast video I did, someone asked uh, whether or not we have any sort of quote-unquote African breakfast. Uh, yes, we do. As you can see, we do love sweet potatoes and we love arrows. We love porridge. In fact, there was porridge in that video. Remember the porridge that everyone said was too thick? <laughs> A friend of mine from work <laughs> always laughs her head off when she sees me. She's like, that was not porridge. That was ugali check it out by the way it was so funny so yeah we do have african inspired breakfast up to and including the sweet potatoes and arrow roots gosh can you even with this granola it looks so delicious now the trick is we have to wait for it to cool for 45 minutes when it comes out of the oven as in let it cool completely undisturbed and then after 45 minutes then i'm going to top it with the dried fruit and the chocolate chips and all that stuff so as we wait for it to cool we go ahead with the rest of the recipes <music> So I've already done my first load of laundry of the day and it's dry and I don't like my clothes over drying on the lines. So I try to make sure the minute they dry, even if it is mid morning or late morning, I unhang them. What? when i'm cutting these sweet potatoes 
especially is when I realize how bland my knives are. You know, someone said the most dangerous gadget in your kitchen is a dull knife. And that is true. By the way, I almost cut off the tip of my finger trying to cut these sweet potatoes with these knives. You guys, let me know how you sharpen your knives because a sister is struggling. So for the sweet potatoes and the arrow roots, we're just going to roast them in the oven. Basically, we're making sweet potato and arrow root fries. And here's the deal, okay? Preheat the oven at 200 degrees centigrade and line your oven sheets, of course, with parchment paper. Then once you have washed and peeled your sweet potatoes, cut them into fry-shaped pieces, all right? Then transfer to the baking sheet and sprinkle with cornstarch and salt fast. And make sure each and every fry is lightly coated in the powder of cornstarch. The cornstarch is great because it gives it that crispy shell. And then once it's completely coated, drizzle with olive oil or any oil and toss until evenly coated. There's no powdery spots that you're seeing. Now arrange them in a single layer and do not overcrowd them. Otherwise, they will not crisp up. Then we will bake for 20 minutes. Flip and bake for a further 18 minutes or until crispy. By the way, I was really impressed at how fast they cooked. I felt like they cooked faster than when we boiled them. Oh my god, deliciousness! Like you cannot even believe. And if you want, you can even toss with seasonings of black pepper, garlic powder, whatever you want. All right, it oh my goodness, I cannot even. make sausages boil some eggs by the way if you are like me and never used to know how to boil <laughs> eggs so that they don't come out peeling funny just put them in water when they start boiling put them in cold water and put it on the stove when it starts boiling put a timer for seven minutes all right and the minute it's seven minutes are over switch it off and put them in cold water and your eggs will peel beautifully <music> My daughter came to show me her new hair that has been made by our amazing help. Oh my gosh, she was so excited. We just went into a happy dance. hash brown potatoes you guy my guy like when i'm in a restaurant <laughs> for breakfast or a hotel i always make sure i have this combination it has to be this combination okay scrambled eggs hash brown bacon and either salsa or baked beans and oh my goodness huh 
no wonder I'm struggling with, you know, these problems that I'm struggling with. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so for the hash brown, <laughs> what to do is just grate the potatoes and then rinse them to remove the excess starch. Squeeze out all the water and then make sure they're completely dry, okay? Then the thing is, I found so many recipes, but the one that I liked is where you put, uh, you first fry them on a pan. Just put some water, not water please, do not fry with water, <laughs> fry with oil, put some oil on your pan and then fry them until they're nice and cooked, alright? And then the minute they are nice and cooked, put them in a bowl and then, alright, here is where the real deal gets serious, okay? Now... <laughs> Once they've not, they're nice and halfway fried, they're half fried, put them back in your bowl, put some grated cheese, all right? Put some garlic powder, put some onion powder, put some black pepper, put some salt, put a little bit of, what do you call it, wheat flour, and then make your patties, okay? And then you are going to deep fry this in some hot, hot oil, well, not too hot. Americans are the ones who say oil. <laughs> Some hot oil. And then, <laughs> okay, I'm so excited about these potatoes. And then, uh, what? Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm forgetting what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, and then fry until go golden. But, okay, you don't want your oil to be so hot, then they don't cook all the way through. So, you know, you guys know the deal about deep frying. Mm. By the way, my kids are already asking for more. I have a big issue, by the way, with deep frying stuff. I try not to, so I'm looking for an air fryer. Uh, if you have a brand that you would recommend, and also tell me why, uh, let me know in the comment section, because I'm thinking of getting an air fryer. But basically, that's how you make hash browns. Oh my gosh, they were so crispy. My kids love them so much. And so did I. The 45 minutes for my granola are of course way over so yeah the toppings need to go on now so the toppings that i'm using i'm just putting the dried fruits of course the raisins and some chocolate chips because hello hello i mean and yeah and that's it the granola oh my gosh oh and I, did i say that i put some uh desiccated coconut i did I did yes i did please check out the other video i did because you guys has a much more detailed recipe so yeah that's a granola oh my gosh and this granola by the way will keep very well in an airtight container or in a ziploc bag okay i made so much so i put one in the airtight container the other one went into the, into the ziploc bag Oh my gosh, the deliciousness is at another whole new level. I hope you found something that you will, <laughs> that is inspiring for you to cook in this video. Let me know which one you're going to try. Uh, and enjoy. And bye.